3, 2, 1. Hello guys, welcome for intensive matches, Serral versus Mana. When I say intensive, as you already saw, it's only 4 minutes, so there is going to be some shenanigans. So I'm very curious what it's going to be. My name is Keanu, as always, I'm going to find out together with you. So spawning here in the bottom corner is none other than Mana, and his opponent, his introduction is Serral, Serral the Night King. Now what is going to be their strategy? I'm very, very curious, is it going to be an all-in? Is there going to be some interesting uh, shenanigans? Hmm. So, let's see. Mana, standard opening so far with the pylon. The probe is here. Serral is sending the overlords, so nothing unusual so far. But, obviously, <laughs> you do not have a 4 minute game without something highly unusual uh, that is going to happen. Now here we have a hatchery, so far so good for Serral, he's not the one that is uh, doing the shenanigan, he's not the one that's being cheeky. Now standard opening so far for mana, with a second nexus, but where is... Hmm, very curious, uh, ah, here it is, the gateway, I was wondering, is there going to be a gateway somewhere? Is Serral just going to rush? As soon as the spawning pool is uh, happening. In the meantime, I want to thank all of you that uh, are here in comments. Uh, this is a big uh, support uh, for me. And also thank you for smashing that subscribe button. This also helps a lot the channel. Another pylon. So guys, who is the one that is going to do the shenanigans? So the fact that the probe just stole uh, a couple of minerals is not the end of the world, obviously. And uh, in the meantime, guess what? I'm going to let you know a little bit more about these two players. Obviously, Serral has no introduction. Mana, it's well known for being the manager of Team Liquid. And he started to play in 2010, so he has a lot of experience. He's 29 years old and he's from Poland. And Serral, obviously, Serral is Serral. <laughs> the Night King, the finisher, the one and only. The only non-Korean player to have won two triple crowns. And if we start to brag how much, uh, uh, how good the Serral is, we are not going to have uh, enough time, only four minutes. So this probe is dead. And this Serral going to send these four Zerlings and we are going to finish mana. Hmm, highly unusual. So here we have the Stargate, we have the Zealot. And I know that a Stargate is not the end of the world, especially when you are playing uh, Zerg and you have the Queens. I put a, a pool, guys. Let's see what you are going to decide. So I'm not going to call them Queens anymore. I'm going to use the name of your choice. So you have three options. And I also let you, for the fourth one, to choose to put in the comments what is the one that you enjoy more. Now, here is an adept that's shaded. And now, is this going to be the end? So, four Zerlings, more are coming. Yes, and the Roach. So, Serral is the one attacking. Let's see if uh, Mana has something to offer. Now, the standard Oracle. Here is another adept. Uh, now Serral is the one pushing. Is this push going to be... Oh, excellent push. So yeah, it was an all-in. Here it's just an oracle, not enough energy. And destroying the pylon left uh, mana without any source of income. So guys, if you want to learn something useful, learn how to rush like Serral. So this is the proper way of rushing. Yeah, so this is why Serral won so fast. Let's go to game number two. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you for watching. Can over.